See, that's hi guys welcome back to my channel finally i'm so sorry that it's been so long since i've recorded or made a video i just wanted to make a quick disclaimer before jumping ahead in this video it is now october like i said sorry that i've waited so long to make a video i also suggest if you did not check out my other two videos which is basically my tour of marquette and also how i got to marquette and then just a little bit about my application process please check that out i will have those videos at the end of this video but also time stamped somewhere in this i highly suggest watching those before you watch this not that you would be confused or anything but just because you'll be able to see what Marquette looks like if you're really considering coming here. We're about to go into November and this footage is coming from August when I first moved in so I just wanted to make a disclaimer about that so people wouldn't be confused. And right before it gets to October and what the room plan looks like now I'll provide this little reminder that this is coming from October but obviously the beginning of this video will be from August and me just leaving from Philly and coming here. Like you'll see me explain in the video there was just a lot going on a family emergency that happened so I had to stop recording but that is my apologies and my fault. In the video you'll also see that I recorded some of what the room looked like. You won't be able to see a lot of what it actually looked like when I first got to the room before the transformation. It's just like a slight few changes that are different but be sure to check out the description box. I will try my best to find an accurate representation of what the dorm looks like before. I will also say that Marquette doesn't have a lot of pictures and that's another reason why I wanted to make this video. People want to see what the dorms look like and it was hard for me to find what Humphrey or any of the other dorms look like. But I will provide the link of the pictures and stuff that Marquette provides but be sure to know that sometimes it'll just look a little different. My room looks a little different than what was shown in the Humphrey Hall video. Now that I'm all settled in and kind of have a few months of school under my belt, I have so many ideas. So if you guys would like to see any specific video, please comment down below any ideas or even if you have any questions about this video that I didn't necessarily answer. If comment any suggestions that you have for my room that I don't have in this video. And the last thing that I want to say before heading you guys into this video is that COVID changed a lot of things for us this year. So it might not be the same way for you next year if you decide to live here. In the video, you'll hear me say that we weren't allowed to bring excess furniture but also we're not allowed to have any external visitors only internal visitors at this moment it's only me and my roommate in a quad apartment which is really for four people so i don't know it might be the same for you next year i don't want you to pick it for the wrong reasons if you think that you're just going to be able to live in a big space for only two people you might be able to but you might not please be sure to like comment and subscribe thank you guys for watching and let's get straight into the video Hey guys, at the airport. New beginning. <laughs> the journey begins. About to go to Milwaukee. So. I kept down on our way, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Watch your bikes in the place you can see it. I'm gonna be me, you know what I'm saying? You, you, can't, you can't change who you are, you gotta stay true to yourself. She got a lot of good schooling and upbringing, man. She just can't be easily influenced because she's away. She got to stay true to who she is, you know what I mean? She always been an A student, so she got to continue to do that. She got to she gotta dig into her track. Yeah. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Oh, you know, Sabrina was all the way track. Oh, wow, that's tough. <laughs> she going crazy. She said, oh, man, that's tough. She hear you. Yeah, she's gonna run track, man. You know what I mean? What's she running? Sprints. Sprints. She a sprinter. She run. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I'll be out here until tomorrow afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, she's dynamic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, she get it honest though, man. She got like, athletes on both sides of the family, man. So she gotta keep working at her craft though, you know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm telling her the importance of dedicating yourself to you. So we're in the rental car. I know you can see my Boy, eyes, if you don't. I got burned by the wax because my skin is like sensitive to it. But I'm gonna just let it clear up and just not put anything on it. We're about to go pick up my aunt who will be a part of this trip. They're gonna help me move in along with my dad. I didn't really record myself talking. I just had some footage of me in the airport. Today is August 22nd and my moving day is August 23rd. We decided to come down here earlier just so I could basically get all the stuff that I need. I don't want tomorrow to be too hectic. So we're gonna do a lot of shopping today. My dad will leave tomorrow and my aunts will stay an extra day. I'll be staying at Humphrey Hall and me and my roommate have a quad room but it's only me and her staying in the room so we'll have other space. We'll have our own room. We'll have a bathroom and then we'll have a kitchen in the common area. We'll probably go shopping together for like the bath and the kitchen and all that. <laughs> These are all my aunts. They're going to be helping me move in. And right now we're just walking downtown. I'm going to go get some food, some crabs, and then we're going to go shopping for my dorm. So I'm thankful go to have to all of them here. Go to the beach. The, the Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, uh, yeah. East River. And then one over, one more over to Harlem River. Nice. So what do you think about the anti-mask? <laughs> why I wanna, why you wanna fight people on the street? Like, put the mask on. Just put the mask on. <laughs> Whether it's fake or not, you really want to take the chance. And even if you don't believe in it, you don't own the place. Don't walk in my house telling me that you <laughs> going to do what you're not gonna do. Don't own the establishment. Don't the, even work here. This sort of vlog. <laughs> Hi guys, it's the next morning. It is moving day. I caught a little cold, so I'm congested. With my dad right now, we are about to go meet my aunts for breakfast. I move in at 12 o'clock. I didn't really vlog a lot yesterday. There was just a lot to do. It was an exhausting day. We're gonna go eat breakfast, and then I'm gonna go to Target and go get some more stuff, like a mini fridge or just stuff that I forgot. So I'm really excited. My roommate moves in at two o'clock, so I will see her like right after I move in, because my moving is from 12 to two. I'm excited, I'm nervous. I feel like there's still so much stuff I have to do. I'm stressing out, but I know it'll work out, it'll be good. I will check back in with you guys when we are eating breakfast. <laughs> I think I'm good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Siani Brown Car. Take it up and go in and out. There's more stuff, but this is what we have so far. <laughs> Everybody say hi. This is for the vlog. Hi. hi. This is hi. my friend Hope. <laughs> <laughs> and them. 
Look, she gonna find an angle, Oliver. Good morning, guys. Today is the day after moving day, and I am so sorry because yesterday did not go as I planned. There was just a lot of unexpected events. I didn't record as much as I wanted to. My roommate is now here. My room is not done. There's a lot of stuff that I had to order since I'm coming from out of state. My room is really messy right now, as you can see. But the way it worked this year, me and my roommate both got to get our own rooms. We'll just be showing you guys what we have so far, and eventually we'll have more progression of the stuff that we get over the next couple days or week or even after the fact. So I'm actually about to go to breakfast with my roommate and her family to get to know them better and then after that her dad's gonna take us to Walmart to change our shower head. I'll show you what we have so far. Hey. This is my roommate Olivia. She's so sweet and nice. This is the outside of Humphrey Hall. This is the fourth floor and so you walk in this is just our names. You come in we made some changes already but originally they had four desks right here and we kind of just changed it. My roommate put her desk in her room. And then we just hung a flag up and put our keys there. The bathroom, this is all my stuff. Just got like things like a soap dispenser, toothbrush holder, and just like stuff that both of us can use. This is the bathroom. We like got took a shower yesterday. That's the shower head, so we're definitely gonna change that. When we come back from Walmart, we're also gonna clean just because of everything that's going on, get the bathroom a little deep clean. A towel. And these are all desks and they said that they were not gonna come pick these up. So we kind of just have to leave them in there. So I was just thinking these desks can be used for school. This is my stuff, it's just like books and stuff. And one of them can be used like for makeup. I still have some stuff coming from home, like a ring light that can go out here. These are just like the blinds, the view. It's really nice. This is the commons right here. There's a closet right here. Outdoor closet for like umbrellas and jackets and stuff. This is my mini fridge right here. My roommate put hers in her room. We have a broom, just like some body armor, a Brita filter, which does not fit in the refrigerator. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do with that. Some cups in the sink right now. Snacks, more cups. What else do we have? Oh, peanut butter, some more snacks. <laughs> and just like condiments and stuff. And then it's just like more snacks up here. And then my room, which is like really messy <laughs> right now. Uh, they left two beds in here. So I kind of just combined the two, just made one big bed. I have two closets in the mirror. My stuff that's in the shelves. I haven't hung up any of my clothes yet. This is really messy, but it'll look nice once it's transformed. A TV, one dresser, and then these nice little shelves that came with the beds. So you can lower these beds, but I wanted to make mine high. I ordered a stool, some other things like LED lights. So it just kind of adds to my room. This is the outside right now. It's like a really pretty view. You can see O'Donnell Hall from right there, and that's the commons. I have not tried any of the food yet. My roommate says she has tried some of the food, and it's okay. It's pretty good. And this is just like a cart. This is my roommate's room. She decided to bunk her beds. The way that the rooms are positioned, they're a little different. Like her closet is way bigger than mine, which made her room a little smaller. It's like a big walk-in closet. It's really nice. This room was supposed to be for four people. So we have like a lot more space. We got really lucky. She just has like her computer and stuff and she put her desk in here. I haven't decided what to do with my desk yet. I might leave them out here, but it might be too clammy if I decide to put one of them in my room. <laughs> This is so cute. This is just me and my roommate's name and the messages that our RA wrote us when we first got to school. If you go down there, it is a laundry room and the trash room and they kind of provide things for us. So they give us vacuums and stuff for our room. When you walk in, this is our room. And right now I do not have the lights on. Let's turn the lights on. And this is the kitchen. So usually at nighttime, we just turn these lights on and we just kind of use it as a light instead of having these regular lights. I don't know what it is, but I prefer either lights like this or like in the dark. We just have our two trash cans right here. They're pretty small and they fill up pretty fast. And this right here is my cabinet. Kind of just have like a bunch of snacks and some snacks up there too. And this is kind of like our condiment thing. So we just kind of like a bunch of condiments. As you can see, some of it is running out. We have some more snacks. And then what I do is when I go to the dining hall and I don't use the silverware, I kind of just put it in here just in case someone comes here or we might need more silverware. We have straws and just some more snacks. This is our little dish rack, just my water bottle. Nothing in this cabinet. This is actually Olivia's cabinet. It's not really much in there. And then this is our cabinet for like our silverware. And then as you can see, there's a pan up there because Olivia purchased the 
hot plate, I think it's called. And then just have my little Nutribola that I have not yet opened because I do not know where to go get fruit from yet. So that's this side of the room. But when you first walk in, this is kind of the first thing you see. We have a little Marquette flag and then we kind of just keep our like keys that you can see my ID and then that's her side. She just keeps her mask and sometimes her ID and stuff like that there too. So the sink is obviously on the outside. And then down here, we just have you know like toilet paper and cleaning supplies I actually forgot to show this side we just have more cleaning supplies and trash bags and i think in this one it's just some more trash bags the ones from target and some like silverware so down here it's just like tissues and stuff like that and i tend to keep my face wash and my toner right here just because like i keep majority of the stuff in my room but i sometimes just do not feel like going in my room just to get this that's my toothbrush and we have this here for like jewelry just in case you need to take it off while we're washing our hands or whatever and this kind of like slides open so we just have like cotton balls as you can see and just razors and stuff like that and then this is the bathroom so here's the toilet the trash can and we actually changed our shower head so this does not come with the room anyone that's thinking about living in humphrey next year it does not come like this we just did not like it so we changed it there's not really a lot in here because personally i keep most of the stuff that i shower with in my room as olivia my loof is here and then since like this doesn't really come with anything to put you know like toilets usually have like a thing over it it didn't come with that so we just keep the wipes and like the freshener right there i know that's a little weird but that's what we do and yeah so that's the bathroom Personally, I love how this looks more when it's dark. Because of COVID, we were not allowed to bring additional furniture in. I don't know if anyone's thinking about coming here or living in this dorming hall. It might not look like this. You might not have four desks. If you have four roommates, you might. And like I said, Olivia's actually is in her room. So as you can see with this one, there's nothing really here because no one's really gonna use that. Sometimes when you have people over, they sit at this desk, they eat here. Um, but personally for me, the way that I did it, I separated my work desk, as you can see, and then just like my makeup desk. Just to kind of give like a little close up, I just have like some pictures and some motivational aspirations. All my makeup, this little mirror right here. And then in this drawer, I kind of just keep like makeup brushes, nail polish, nail polish, filer, stuff like that. And it's just my ring light. And on this side is my work desk. So I just have like some more pictures, as you can see, all my friends. Shout out to everyone in these pictures. Just like some Espo markers, my laptop, my watch. I keep my watch charger out here, thumbtack, stuff like that, my planner. And in this drawer is just like a bunch of like school stuff. So I usually do sit here and do my homework up here it's just actually pretty dark so you can't really see it, but it's just like some reminders for class and this cute little laptop case that i have yet to put on my laptop shout out to who got this for me and then just like my books and stuff for class these are the two windows very very pretty view this is what it looks like at the nighttime this is the commons right here so as you can see the dining hall is right beneath right there that's the dining hall and then these are just all the rooms and everything this is a closet that we're trying to just keep like i keep my umbrella here and this is actually the shower curtain that dorm came with this is the shower head as you can see like it's not really the best <laughs> guys i'm finally revealing my room i'll just go through everything quickly and then eventually turn the lights off so you can see like the full vibe of the led lights in the cloud because i just feel like it adds more to the room the first thing you see when you walk in would be like this mirror that actually came with the dorm i actually purchased my own mirror this came from target right over there when you first walk in just have a little whiteboard and i usually just write motivational messages on here and this isn't really like aesthetic but it's just things that i use right here you just see my keys and stuff just because i actually just out and i just put it on top of there sometimes i hang it up outside sometimes i'll leave it in my room you would think that by now i would have all the stuff that i want in my room i actually don't and it's october now but there is still stuff that i'm planning to do more stuff that i'm planning to order if anyone has any ideas of what i should put on top of this dresser i was thinking about maybe purchasing a couple of plants let me just tell you guys it is so hard to do things when you don't have a car but i do plan to get a couple plants just to add more greenery into my room but right now i just have my echo dye some essential oils that i use for something that i'll show that's on the other side of the room this is a 
jewelry box right here. I just have like hair stuff, earrings, and a bunch of other stuff. These are some glasses. This you know, obviously it's an eraser for this. Mini fan that actually does a lot of justice from Amazon. You'll find that a lot of stuff that is in my room is from either Amazon or Target, two favorite stores. And this is just a game that I have. We're not really strangers, really recommend it. It's really nice. And then just like a little massage thing. My friends got me before I left. And then in these drawers, like I actually have two dressers. It's just like an excess amount of space. So in here, it's just like kind of miscellaneous. I just have like thermostat, charger, medicine, vitamins. <laughs> keys and you know purses some wipes and everything this drawer the way i organize it i just kind of keep all my track stuff in here stuff that doesn't necessarily have to be hung up or just like my spikes icy hot rollers and things like that there's not really much in this drawer right here and then when you move to this side you'll see that i have a stool which actually came from amazon as well this rug came from amazon pink is my favorite color if you could not tell and then underneath my bed since the bed is so high there's a lot of space and the reason why you see the sheet like that which i probably should fix is because my bed actually actually is two beds combined. That makes sense, but it's two separate sheets. I know this looks a little tacky, but right now I only have a twin size comforter because I was coming into school thinking that that's the kind of bed that I would have. I did not know that I would have two beds. Underneath here, I just keep like boxes and suitcases and just like my roller and book bags have all like my track stuff that cannot fit in those drawers right there. I am planning to make a gear haul for you guys. It's just that our gear is not all in yet. So I'd rather wait until all that's in. And I have this thing right here that I really just used. It's it's called a bedside caddy and it really is just for me to put like my remote any other thing that i need that i don't really want to get lost in the bed this is just the view right here I'm pretty sure i showed my view already but that's what it looks like it's so dark so fast now this is just my bed pillow from target pillow from amazon all my pictures of all my friends the reason why it does not look so full right now i keep adding on to the picture as time goes on my goal is to have more pictures up at the top more at the bottom i'll be running them more down the side right there and this is just a cloud that i also got from amazon like i said i will turn the lights off so you guys can see what it looks like just have like a trash can i don't really keep anything on these things right here so when i eat in my room i'll sit right here so of eating on my bed they're nice and like slideable and everything i just have my portable charger yeah this looks so tacky but there's nothing i can do about it right now i'm gonna have to go purchase a queen size comforter but just my charges that i use while i'm on my bed my smart tv right here and this is the cool thing that i was talking about you can see it a little bit but it's just little air coming out of this and you take those essential oils that are over there and you put it in this thing and it kind of just purifies the room it makes the whole room smell like the scents of the essential oils shout out to my friend marcella she's actually the one that purchased this for me and this is where i keep most my clothes so underwear bras stuff like that is up there just to give you guys a little sneak peek since i keep my pants right here just keep like my shirts and stuff right here the way that my closet is currently organized my jackets vests stuff like that on this side this side i have more like my clothes and down here i just keep some of my shoes in here there's my hamper above here the way that these are separated it's all kind of again miscellaneous stuff most of this is cleaning stuff hand sanitizer a bunch of masks gloves laundry detergent steamer medicine batteries and my jerseys are actually back here as well. Like I said, this is just like a bunch of clothes. And up here, I just really keep like my purse, and like a flat iron, shower caddy, towels and stuff for when I use the bathroom. Inside the shower caddy, I just keep razors and stuff like that. Just things that, like I said, when I was showing the bathroom, I keep most of my shower stuff in here and that stuff is just up there. This is actually a sign that I got from the Black Student Union. They're pretty cool. I have a flag right there, but I'm planning to put a big calendar right here. And right here, the way that I keep it, it's just like all my scrunchies, my deodorant, Many things that go in like, you know, travel size bags, lashes, face medicine, rose water spray. The second one, I just keep all types of, as you can see, just like shower caps and bonnets and stuff. And just like my hair stuff, brushes, shower caps, detangling, bobby pins. Down here, it's just more hair stuff, nail polish remover. My initial plan is to probably put a beanbag chair maybe right here and put some long type of stand up plant right here as well. But if you guys have any ideas of what I should put in my room, please comment down below. I want to make the room as comfy as possible. And now this is just what the room looks looks like with the LED lights on one of the settings. These lights are actually pretty cool because these lights play to music and you can actually hold them from your phone without having to use the remote, which turns out to be really convenient. Like I said, this kind of just adds to my room as the way I like it. I don't necessarily use it on this setting because it can get annoying. <laughs>
Okay guys, that'll conclude this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I really enjoy your guys' feedback and the positive support that I've got so far. I'm still learning how to do stuff, but thank you guys for just supporting me and how watching me grow. Bye guys.